It shows that it's more likely that a lot of people are gonna finish your video if you have a progression bar. Well, in this video, I'm showing you how you can add a progression bar to your video. All right, to get started, head over to your browser and type in the URL box, edit.new and click on enter. You can also click on the first link in the description. To add a progression bar, we're gonna use Veed's online video editor and you can instantly get started. You can choose one of the templates if you like, or you can simply start from scratch. I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna click on upload a file to upload my video. I'm gonna click on Tim clip and click on open. After a moment, your video will be imported into Veeds editor and we can watch the video back. I just wanted to say a quick hi to everyone and I hope you're all doing well. Nice one. Now to add a progression bar to this video, simply head over to the left menu where you can see elements, click on that. And as you can see, you see the progression bars right there. Now there's a wide variety you can choose from. As I slide to the right, you can see a couple of more, a couple of different styles. And if you want to view them all, simply click on view all. As you can see now there's a list of progression bars and simply choose the one you like, simply click on it and it will be automatically added to the video frame. Now there's a couple of things you can do with it. For instance, if you click on it and drag it around, you can relocate it. You can resize it through the side and corner options. You can rotate it if you like. For now, I'm gonna drag it to the bottom because I think it looks cleaner on the bottom and I'm gonna extend it to the absolute edge of the left side and the right side. And now let's have a look. This Tim, uh, I just wanted to say a quick, and as you can see, now the progression bar is automatically in sync with the timing of the video. And as you can see on the menu on the left, you can change the style of this one. You can change the bar color. You can change the base color, make it transparent and change the duration here. Let's change the color, for instance, of the bar. Let's make it blue or purplish. I'm not really good in colors, apparently. And let's change the other one to white. Let's have a look. Today was actually a very sunny day in the Netherlands, which nice. is kind of miraculous. Cool. And as I said, you can change the duration in the menu as well, which basically means is that you're trimming the progress bar a little bit, or you can simply go to the bottom timeline and click and drag on one of the sides and let it start or end at a specific part of the video. Now, this also means that it's gonna resync with the timing of the video. For instance, like this. I just wanted to say a quick hi to everyone and I hope, as you can see, it starts at that specific part. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Now to change the style of the progression bar, you can head over to style and as you can see now it's a rectangle, but you can make it rounded, you can make a circle, you can make a donut if you like. For instance, you can click and drag it to one of the sides to see it better. Let's have a look. Tim, uh, I just wanted to say a quick hi to everyone. So you can choose whatever you like. Now I wanna make this an Instagram post, so I wanna change the video to a square. To make this happen, simply head over to settings in the left menu and on the size, you can choose a couple of dimensions and I wanna choose square. And as you can see, now it changed to a square. Now to make the video fit, simply click on the video and click on fill the canvas. And as you can see in the side and corner options, you can relocate and reshape your video the way you like. Now let's have a look. Today was actually a very sunny day in the Netherlands, which is a nice one. And as you can see, the progression bar actually automatically reshaped uh, and adapted to the square. So when I clicked on square, it actually changed with it. For now, I'm satisfied with the video and the progression bar. So to export my video, simply head over to the export button in the right top corner and choose your preferred render settings. For now, I'm gonna choose Instagram and click on export video. And now you can watch the video back on the left. Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Uh, I just wanted to, and as you can see, the progress bar is on the bottom. Now, if you wanna share your video, simply click on the share button below the video. You can copy the link and paste it everywhere. You can add it to your socials directly or embed the video on your website. Or if you want to download your video, simply click on the download button below the video, click on download MP4, and there it is. All right, and that's it for this video. That's how you add progression bars to your video. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.